Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to the energies of the Grand Cardinal Cross. And this is a real doozy for a lot of people. Uh, for some of us Illumin Twins who have gone through several cycles of cleansing and clearing and purging, it may not be as intense. But the energies are here, and everyone on the planet is feeling it in some way, shape, or form. For those of us who are aware that we are twin flames, this is it. This is a part of what began with the portal in March of 2014. The eclipse that we just had, we're sort of sandwiched between here, between the shadowy aspect with the spotlight entirely on us, and what is the... Cardinal Cross. These are the uh, four, if you think about a compass, it's north, south, east, and west. This is also the seasons. Uh, this happens when we pass through an equinox or a an, uh, solstice. We get the seasonal primal force of the divine feminine, the force of air, fire, water, and earth, with you being the love. You actually are a part of these energies, and you are also the anchoring point. So these energies flow into and through your bodies to connect in your grid points, in your home points, which are here on earth, um, which are also your spiritual homes. And for some of you, you may not yet be in the actual place that is your spiritual home uh, as a geographical location. You, you are home in your twin. We are always home with each other. Home is anywhere your twin is. But yet some of us do have agreements to be in certain points here on the globe. Uh, because we did at one time have sacred areas set up. Now we're raising the bar. Now we've got several because we're doing something here. We're sending and, and pulling up the vibration of the planet. Now here's the thing with this is that Along with all of this purging and cleansing and clearing, you're going to feel a lot of uh, strange energies, weird sensations, poking, prodding, uh, people being weird, your electronics being weird. Um, yesterday the power went out in my neighborhood for about 30 minutes. Nobody knew why. We called. It, it went on. I had a feeling it was one of these things of just being unplugged and plugged in it at a higher level. And sometimes that happens. Your electronics will not work properly when there is an intense energy. You yourself have an effect on your immediate environment. So uh, why is this? Well, you are, this is a deep universal cleaning, cleansing and clearing. You are purging, cleaning, cleansing, clearing at the molecular level and a lot of you are feeling like that you know years ago i worked in the automotive industry uh in a body shop and we had these parts cleaners and these things would do these little teeny vibrations like and it would it would vibrate off any of the crust and stuff that was on carburetors uh brake parts anything and you know eventually could take a wire brush and it would just come off easily same principle with cleaning your teeth and that's how it feels to a lot of us. It's it's either wavy or it's this little teeny vibration that's just so annoying and you can't get to sleep. Don't sleep. Stay awake through this because your consciousness is required to be here. You're pulling your entire soul here. So don't fall asleep in these energies. These are high energies. We're almost through it. So my message is coming sort of towards the tail end here. And yet it is still pertinent because this is an open window for twin flames to have encounters, re-encounters and meetings with your twin and merging with your twin. It's not, it's not uh, what do the birds and the bees have? They have their season. We're having merging season. And this is one of the open windows. So... This is for all of your ancestral and spiritual lineages. So all of your biological mothers, all the way back from the very first person who agreed to birth you or incarnate you, once you left source and you separated, many times 
that person, the very first person, is the person who is your biological mother in this life. Many times. That's not a hard and fast rule. There are no hard and fast rules about this because you are all so unique. So I can't with, you know, unless I actually tune in on a personal level, I cannot tell you. So we're, we're sort of talking about the commonalities here. What are the common denominators of what we're going through as a collective and individually and universally? Because what happens here on Earth doesn't stay here on Earth. You know that saying about Las Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But it's the opposite. What we're doing here ripples back out to the entire universe. You are the creators. You are the creators of the new template. You have the blueprint. You brought it here. New blueprint for the new light body. You are the new templates of 5D. You're a 5D being living here at this level pulling your entire soul in and this is a massive gift. This is not just a gift to humanity because humanity as we've known it is shifting into human angels. And while there are one beings here on the planet, there are some here to support us. I'm here to talk to twin flames and specifically illumined twin flames. What else does this mean? This is your part of the agreement the agreement that I discussed in my last video for you to become again. And, you know, I found a great little reminder. People who live in Chicago know this place. This is a home improvement place. And it's one of my favorites because it just feels warm and fuzzy. Right on this page, what I actually found out a few years ago is right at the bottom, this particular home improvement place has little um, inspirational sayings. I never noticed it before, and then about a year and a half ago, all of a sudden I was like, hey, they've got this stuff. It's a good reminder, and I wrote it here. Believe with all of your heart that you will do what you were made to do. The day I saw this, I busted out crying. I couldn't help it, because it's so true. And it, that's what the universe wants. The universe wants your willingness. Your universe, the universe is here to support you. These are universal energies, not to tear you apart, here to cleanse you, scrape out the last of it, to make your reunion as effortless as possible. And there's nothing intended to stand in your way. We're going to get to that. So what you're getting here is you're going to be able to get clarity when you're clean and clear and purged. And sometimes the purging is painful. It means throwing up or having diarrhea or stomach upsets and it will pass. I'm here to assure you that it will pass. A lot of us are having stomach upsets. We're connecting those parts, particularly in the intestines, to your high heart. So there's sort of this effect going on. And yes, whatever needs to come out, you're going to have people spewing their toxic stuff right out in front of you. A lot of us just passed through a family holiday. Uh, for some of us, uh, it was Easter. For some of us, it was Passover. Or uh, other people do celebrate other family holidays. Uh, I have Muslim friends. They celebrate Eid. And uh, I think that isn't coming up for another month or so. I'd have to look at the calendar. Um, but regardless, a lot of people do celebrate or get together around this time of year. Now, it's, it's a lot, it dredges up feelings. It dredges up all your close associations with the family. And what is it? Well, I will say this. Uh, sometimes it'll dredge up those feelings of abuse or neglect or emotional abandonment and especially um, sexual abuse. I have a friend that... Um, within her family, her cousins, she actually thought that was the way, that's how, you know, boys were with little girls. She thought that, you know, every family get together because that was her normal. And she has since healed from that. But that's some of what comes up. It's this very subtle stuff that very first happened to us. And maybe the blinders were on, maybe our calluses were on, maybe we did that duck and dodging defense mechanism. Now it's off, and now we can see it clearly for what it is. But now the universe is here to support you. 
to fully be with your twin. And I'm going to say this, you and your twin are so close, your twin is inside you. There truly is no separation. Whatever your twin is going through, you may feel it wherever you are. And it can make you feel wiggy. It can make you feel dizzy. It can make you feel like you're losing your mind or someone's out to get you or somebody said something. These are your perceptions. What is the true perception? You really have to tune into your twin in the heart. And I will say this, if it's really heavy stuff, there's sort of a curtain that gets drawn. You may not be able to feel your twin while their things are being purged from them. And you have to trust. You have to trust the love, the love of your higher self, the love of the universe, that everything that has affected your twin is getting cleaned and cleared out so that they can be with you. Your perception has to be that whatever triggers are there, whatever toxic stuff is there, it's shifting from toxic to healthy. And you can help your twin with this. You can cut cords with people. You can, and you do this at a higher level. You do this when you lay down and you're in your mini communing state with your higher self and you say, I need to cut the cords with his mama or her daddy or whatever it is, or the boss or the sister or the brother or anyone that is leaning on your union. This is the time. All agreements are concluded, null and void, because it's time now. It's time to be in your union. You're ready. And you have to believe with all your heart that you will do what you were made to do. What are you? Some of you are the best cosmic multi-dimensional dancers in the entire universe. You were invited here. You chose to be here. And you chose to receive, create, tweak the new, and get on with an entirely new, abundant experience with your twin. The dispensation was to be with soulmates, not to never be with your twin again. So you have to give up your perception that, oh, this is too difficult. It's not for this lifetime. I'm going to believe what they say. I'm going to believe what everyone else said. That's another thing. If you two are to be together, really be the love, enjoy each other, respect each other, even without, because the universe doesn't care what people think at this level. Your soul doesn't care if so-and-so is married to Joe Blow. Your soul doesn't care. Your soul will move, is moving everything, closing doors, pulling the rug, moving everything for you two to be together. And you have to believe it. And don't let your guides have more faith in you than you do. You have to believe it. And trust. This is the time when you totally take that leap of faith. While you're getting beat up by these energies and feeling it. And you have to stay still in it and just say... Yes, I trust this is all for our good. We're going to be together. And it, it takes a lot to do that. But I will tell you this. I've done it. You can do it. This is not for the faint of heart. But you're not faint of heart people. You're not. You didn't come here to lose. You didn't come here to just hand your twin off and let them go. What? Get sick. Get pieces of themselves hacked off. And uh, we're going to. I, this is changing your relationships with everything, with your family, with who your family is, with foods, with animals, with nature, with the universe, with other planets, with places that you felt. You have to understand that you may have been through these places in the same way that a person from New York says, I'm a New Yorker. But my father came from Ghana, and my mother came from Italy, and before that, they were, um, uh, my mother was Turkish, and we can trace the lineage way back. Well, a lot of us are going to start to trace the lineage way back, and there's other entities coming here to receive the blueprints, and that's another thing. If you're a twin, or you have children... Those children are part of the agreement and responsibility. So you are sort of doing a double balancing act of balancing a family life and time with your twin. 
So this is you receiving love and support, being open to receive it. Open yourself up. Open yourself to whatever the universe is presenting to you to help you do that. Accepting it, accepting what needs to be done, but fully with the proviso that you are a twin first and foremost, and you're here to be together. That's, that is my bottom line message. You are here to be together and stepping into your full union. Your loving, sacred, passionate, primal, raw, sweet, tender, gentle, affectionate, humorous union. You're everything, and you're everything to each other. And you can only unlock each other. You only have half the keys, your twin has the other half. And as much as you've been repairing the vehicle and restoring it, until you actually get in, turn the keys, and drive the car, you're not going to know all the things that you're capable of and what you're bringing here. And a lot of you need to get out of here. You need to go home to source if you're going to come back. If your agreement is to come back, you have to be with your twin. So you take the action, make contact. There's a lot of people who are reluctant to make contact because of old fears. And I want to tell you, there's no more walls. There's only the perception of possibly, well, what if this person thinks I'm being a strident female or demanding or just like all the other women and, you know, oh, I better wait. Don't wait because the time is now. Take the action. Take the, take the leap of faith. Okay, here's some other stuff I wrote. You are royalty. Yes, you are. You are royalty. You are source beings. The entire universe is here to support you because you, my friends, are the brand new creation. You've created a new blueprint. You've made yourselves new. You're here to dance the cosmic dance of renewal and bring the love. Some of you are here to fire up the grid points. Get ready because everything is here to lift you and support you. You're not here to be dragged on like what happened to us before. You're here being lifted off. You're lifting off. Okay, what are some of the challenges to your love? Some of you did choose some challenges to your love. These could be age differences, extreme age differences, 20 years. I've had some testing with that myself, with soulmates. And you know what? If you really make the decision that you love, that's it. Make a decision. Make the decision. You don't know you don't have to know everything to do. You make a decision and you're willing. And then you say, show me. Show me. Show me how this is gonna work. Show me who we are to each other. You'll be surprised. It'll come to you. It'll come to you in dreams. It'll be shown to you in a vision. You're the example. You're the example. And don't let people give you flack. They don't know. There's not a lot of twins here and they won't know what this is. They just won't. And you're the example. You're the one who people are going to say, my God, look at those two lovebirds. They're just like, they're just in their bubble all the time. It never gets old for them. You're not going to flop into a old paradigm type of marriage where it is, uh, you know, you cook and uh, that person plays video games and there you are. You're just occupying the same space. No, you are in your work about together. You're in your dance space together. So economic status, I actually have several friends who have an internationally famous twin who has millions of dollars and they are not really living the same lifestyle and yet one of them knows to the core of her being. The other one actually said not for this lifetime and there it goes and I've actually watched this play out in several of the magazines and on TV where you see that person is actually getting parts of themselves hacked off. Why? Uh, there's soul damage there that in some ways is getting healed, but they need each other to fully heal. Sexual orientation, perceptions that maybe this person is straight, maybe this person is gay, or, you know, could that person real, you know, could 
or other people's perceptions. Don't fall into that. You have to know that it's your twin no matter what. You know that in your heart. The lifestyle, do they drink, do they drug, do they carouse? They're still your twin. It's all going, it's being pulled out of them, taken away, right at the molecular level. Are they too spiritual? I hear this one a lot. Oh, uh, my twin thinks we have this connection, but they say I'm too spiritual. Too bad. This is your entire spirit, and they'll catch on. Don't lose sight of who your twin is. That's your twin. Don't let any of these things put doubts. Get out of your head, into your heart. Get them up from their groin and into your collective, your joint heart. Are they too analytical, too sociable? None of these, there are no limitations. So you conclude your agreement and you tell yourself, we have complete freedom now to be together. No limitations. I got, I got a story for you. A friend went to Hawaii and her twin is there on a different island than she went. Turns out they made contact and she needed a lot of encouragement just to contact her twin. Turns out he's moving all of his possessions to the island where she is and he thought it's for one reason. It's actually the universe will sometimes use bad situations or uncomfortable situations to get you to move. He thinks he's going to take care of someone. But lo and behold, they're going to be in the same place at the same time. See how that works? So keep trusting because the universe will move things and use situations to get you where you need to be. No limitations, no true blocks. There's only the perceptions of it. I can tell you as a transmuter that there we've had so many large bundles of stuff transmuted. I won't give you the details. You need to focus on your twin. You don't need the details about that. But being in, you know, being in alignment with your twin is just being with your twin at this point in any way, shape, or form that you can. Even if it's physically in your house and you're by yourself, you be with them in your heart. You tune in in your heart. Um, for example, I've had people uh, with these weird thoughts of like, well, um, nice girls don't do that, or only bad boys do that, and I want her to think I'm a good guy. Or, well, I'm a vegetarian, and that, my twin is a carnivore, and oh, gosh, I don't know how that would line up. These are no longer valid uh, excuses. There are no excuses. The aware twin can and should take action steps in the physical. Now, a lot of you have some twin that is uh, married or in a relationship and you're reluctant because maybe you think that your twin is still uh, filling some agreement and it's up to you. Are you done with all the agreements? Are, the, are all debts paid in full? Should they give back your twin and give it to you because you're the rightful owner? I mean, only twins truly belong to each other because that's your soul. Should that person be keeping your soul? Answer yourself. Because for a lot of you right now in this time, the answer is, well, that marriage is expired. It is over. Or should it be over? How are they living? What do they feel like? Do they just feel like a brother and a sister? Like it's comfy? There's no passion? And if they're having sex, should they be engaging with it? Tell your twin. You tell them in your heart. You don't risk a, a physical confrontation. Sometimes the spouse and your twin will both have the same energy. They might feel like two girls living together, like two sisters. Or do they feel like two, uh, maybe two frat guys? Hey, we're just two buddies hanging out here in the same house. We both like to do the same things. You know, we both like sports and you know but there's no true passion you you have a marriage that may have started with love but it kind of flopped into this bucket of you know hey we're two people living in the foxhole because we don't know what else to do with each other and nobody's making a move well there are things you can do you start sending the message to your twin in your heart you conclude the agreement for them if you feel that yes it's it's beyond over it's expired you take the actions. These are actions you can take. You start, you can actually get information about divorce or read a book or something and 
your twin should mirror you. You're vibing that information to your twin. There's a very good book by Debbie Ford called Spiritual Divorce that I recommend to people. I myself have read it. I'm divorced. I have had the marriage that uh, we went into the expiration date and it wasn't good. And uh, it's not easy. Breakups are never easy. Moves, uh, it, but actually it's getting easier and easier and easier for us. So that's a trust thing. That's a trust. Ask the universe for help. Take the steps. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge that it's over. Because is it draining the love of your union? Is any relationship that your twin has, are they using all of your love to be a musician? Are they using all of your love to be a fabulous lawyer? Are they using all of your love? Because see, twins have the power in their chosen endeavors or careers from their heart. If the heart and soul is no longer in it, if the heart and soul needs to be with you and not in that company or in that relationship, acknowledge it and take action. There will be more. This is an energy that's here to support you. Open your heart. Let your heart be as open. I'm going to quote here. Is open. This is from a, a Aikido master, Tohai Sensei, and he says, "Let your heart be as generous as the sea, which accepts both clean and unclean water. Generous and big and open, and yet with the understanding that you're getting cleaned and cleared and purged at the molecular level." Just like everything on this planet, it's all getting cleaned and cleared. You don't need to worry about it. You're a part of the plan. You're a huge part of the plan. You are so precious and so loved. And there's an immense amount of love here to help you to do what you were made to do and become again who you truly are. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who re have responded to me. And have a wonderful day. Um, the eclipse will bring more. It will shed light on things. Remember to take good care of yourself. These are toxic things. Emotions will come up. It will feel bumpy. It might make you feel sick. Take your time. Pace yourself. Stay in your heart and trust. Thank you again. Bye now.